This is Titan Dweevil, a Challenger brand mid player. He's Challenger in Season 13, as well as Season 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and to save some time, all the way back to Season 2. Every single year he's been a Challenger player. Just doing that is insane enough. But what's more impressive is that our player has done it consistently for years now with brand mid, a pick that Riot have forced into the support role. But our player refuses to move, staying mid lane and proving that even in the highest elo it still works. In this role with the extra gold and XP, he has shocking AoE burn damage that can wipe a whole team, incredible synergy with one cheap item that completely changes the champion, and a surprisingly strong laning phase that eats melee champions alive. This pick is immobile and probably slightly outdated, so I interviewed him to find out exactly how he's hit challenger for 12 years in a row, and why he is the only brand mid in the world who's challenger. If you love off meta and trying new picks, how does another 500 champions sound? This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, which now has a new PvP mode named Live Arena, so here is Professor Death Knight to tell you about it. Professor Death Knight here with a lesson about Live Arena, the new PvP mode where you can fight against other players in real time. <gasps> Sounds terrifying? Well, so's going to the dentist. You should still do it. Live Arena has a draft feature where you can pick and ban champions to fight for you. <laughs> Teamwork! When you win matches, you'll get live arena crests towards unlocking special area bonuses, or so I hear. I'm too afraid to try any of this out. All right, class. Any questions? Even Professor Death Knight for arena. Do not pick me for live arena. Seriously. Don't. I'm too young to be bone meal. Got any special strategies? Well, everyone thinks I'll go in fighting, but nobody expects my charm. My best strength is the gift of gab. So when they try to attack, I'll just be like, Nice weather we're having, eh? Nobody will see it coming. Right now, Raid has also been releasing a new animated YouTube series, Raid Call of the Arbiter, free to watch, and there's also a bunch of brand new content in Raid Shadow Legends related to Call of the Arbiter, including a free legendary champion. To get Artak, just log into Raid for 7 days between now and July 24th. If you haven't played Raid yet, use my link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to get these insane bonuses and a free epic champion, Knight Errant. Link in the description. Back to our player, Titan Dweevil, a strange name that comes from his favourite childhood game Pikmin 2, taking the name of the final boss. But he started League very early, playing from Season 1 at the age of 17. He became obsessed immediately, playing at least 1,500 normal games that season, almost entirely on Twisted Fate. He was hooked. Starting ranked in Season 2, he went from being placed in gold to getting rank 7 on his server, becoming arguably the best Twisted Fate in the world. This was the old ELO system at the time, 2,580 ELO, equivalent to very high challenger. Season 3 it ramped up even more, becoming one of the early league streamers, and hitting challenger this year, staying at the top. Season 4, challenger again, but season 5 is where his story with brand mid begins. He'd played it a little before in support, but since he loved mid lane so much he tried it there. This was old brand before the rework, so he was mainly focused on super long fights instead of going for burst. However, at the time his ultimate was pretty much completely random, often ulting the enemy laner and it simply bouncing to a jungle camp instead. It was often quite useless. Ever since season 5 he's played brand mid to challenger, even then taking a break and going for rank 1 flex Q challenger as a solo player just for an extra thing to do, which he hit in season 8, terrorising enemies. Almost every game in high elo flex his three best champions were banned. Enemies queued as 5 players. They knew he was on the other team but they still couldn't beat him. After hitting rank 1, the following season he went back to solo queue. Since he was so well known as a brand mid player in high elo by this time, the flame wasn't so common. It's really nice to see a player who's respected get to play off meta. Now in season 13, now 30 years old and never missing a season of challenger, it's truly an insane achievement. But why does he play brand mid? What makes him able to play this quite rare pick in high elo and still do well? Well he says the point of brand mid is to constantly debuff the enemy team and deal a lot of frontline damage. Normally when he's played support you don't get enough gold to fill that role properly and you don't really help your AD carry very much either. He also has terrible matchups against lots of support, especially hook champions, that can destroy you due to your long ability cast times. Enchanters can also beat you as you can't really poke all of their shields off. The negatives in this role just keep coming, however as a mid laner, the extra levels and gold really help Brand. All of his spells decrease in cooldown with rank, and being higher level gives you enough damage to basically solo kill people with your combo. The extra gold lets you afford your two main items, Royalize and Leandries. These enable his main 
unique speciality, Killing Tanks. If you look at his passive, every ability burns enemies for percentage max HP damage. So Bran's abilities literally melt tanks. They can't ignore him as he has huge AoE damage, and they can't play with their team either, as if they tank his AoE, that will spread to their backline and accidentally kill everyone. Even just spreading Royal Ice to your AD carry can get them killed. The other biggest strength is the debuffing. Brand is without a question the best champion to buy Grievous Wounds on. Having consistent damage over time constantly reapplies this anti-heal. Comboing this with AoE damage means the whole enemy team can be anti-healed, making fights a lot easier. Once he gets Leandries, if he hits one spell, the enemy is anti-healed for 11 seconds. No healing champion can wait for 11 seconds in a team fight, making some champions a lot less useful. But Brand Mid isn't just good in team fights. There's one thing about his laning that makes it super good as well, so let's get into game to see it. A level 1, Titan takes W. W is your main poke tool for catching enemies while they try to CS. Titan uses it 3 times at level 1 to help keep the wave out of his tower, poke the enemy and kill minions. But you can already see his passive mana regen kicking in. This is a vital tool for Brand Mid. Whenever he hits a minion with an ability, it becomes a blaze. Whenever he kills a minion that's a blaze, he gets regen mana. And at level 2 he takes his E, so he can now easily W into E and set the whole wave ablaze, meaning every time he last hits a minion he's going to gain mana. And this W E combo lets him take over the lane. He doesn't have to land the W anymore, instead he can just land it on the backline minions and then right away use E to spread it to the enemy champion. The range is shockingly large, even the high elo enemies who he faces often, they'll walk away to try and dodge it, but they'll still end up getting hit since they don't have enough speed. This combo is what allows him to destroy easy matchups and stay alive in hard ones. Anyone who tries to play aggressively against him will have to be near minions and thus will always get hit. So against Brand Mid, even challenger enemies have to stay really far back to avoid getting hit. The synergy with runes early on is ridiculous too. Brand can proc electrocute even with only one ability hitting them, as your passive burn also counts towards it. Just E an auto attack and the passive will proc it. Even missing his W, he heavily wins this trade. At level 3 he takes Q, the stun, and wants to keep pushing the wave to get priority, continuously poking with the W on the backline into the E, scorching the enemy in more ways than one. You can really start to see now, even though he's using a lot of abilities to push and poke, he's still at half mana. The mana regen passive is so good for a push and poke style. The only downside is that Brand is super immobile, so he makes sure to ward at level 3 to spot the enemy jungler, guaranteed he won't be punished for this relentless pushing. The one thing this pick does require is very good CSing, as if you're missing minion kills you'll lose mana, and that's very punishing. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you get really good CS, you get way more mana, and thus you can poke the enemy more. The one thing that's not hard at all is melee matchups. Any time they walk up to get CS, he can remove half of their health bar, keeping his passive stacked on them for as long as they stay in range, burning them and threatening the 3 stack burst. When he eventually does run out of mana, even with this strong playstyle, he pushes one more wave, bases, and then immediately TPs back with full mana once again. You can never get this guy out of lane. He's either bullying you or basing and then returning instantly. As long as he takes no huge risks and positions well, Brand Mid is unmovable. He says that buying a ruby crystal early on is vital to his strategy as well, giving him a slight health advantage that lets him trade easier, spending the rest of his early gold on Blasting Wand or Amp Tomes if that's all he can afford. But this TP is not just for items, it has huge repercussions for the rest of the game. By teleporting back here, he's right back to pressuring the wave. That means that even after two full minutes later after lots of poking, Brand has forced Ari to stay in this bad situation to catch the wave, still easily getting priority and this lets him roam to dragon. This is all a knock-on effect from his passive mana regen, leading to mid prio, and then the enemy mid being poked down. With this concluding, with 4 kills for his team and an objective, Brand punishes this risky play, timed well with his AD carry, and then the super low enemy mid laner tries to salvage the situation but gets finished off, with his jungler using this window to grab a free dragon. At level 6, Brand gets ult, but he isn't really a roaming champion, so he doesn't use it to gank. Instead he stays mid, continuing to pressure and try to get plates. He can go for solo kills, using either E point and click into Q for the stun, and then following up with his hard to land W and ult burst. But in an emergency, ultimate into Q is another good option for the guaranteed stun. He loves using this early priority to start fights in river or invade the enemy jungle. But here is where the whole game changes for Brand Mid, buying Rhyalize. It's a cheaper first item than a mythic, and it gives him health to keep him safe. But most important, the slow that Brand can reapply with every burn of every ability. It makes him into a new champion, really fixing his problems, especially 
his W. It has a long cast time and a low range, making it hard to hit. But with Rhyolize, even after missing this stun, the enemy is too slow to escape, still getting the kill thanks to this item. So his mid game is all about looking for picks with the slow. He's also able to use the W into E spread trick with unsuspecting AD carries, not ready for the range, being tagged as soon as they walk up to get any CS. This is part of the reason for his skill order, maxing W first into E second, which is less common. E can deal more damage and is undodgeable compared to Q, which is quite tiny. And if you can manage to hit a whole enemy team with your E, it does 850 damage, as well as 225% of your AP, and your passive and Leandries. It's just shocking. And as a bonus, if you max it second, then all of your cooldowns will sync up to be roughly the same, meaning they'll all come up at a similar time, making it much easier to combo your passive explosion. It's a smart trick. Our player prioritizes being in teamfights over everything else. Bren doesn't need to be farming 10 CS per minute to be useful. In fact, this player averages 6 CS per minute. And this is in Challenger. People always say that having high CS is vital to be any kind of high elo, but this guy is living proof that that's a myth. Instead, he's always joining fights, where his job is to focus anyone who's diving into his team. Since Brand is low range and low mobility, he can't be assassinating the enemy backline, so instead, he's using his tank shredding percentage HP damage to focus the frontline. Just by doing this, he can hit the backline as well, especially with his empowered E burn spread, since the range is so long. I asked him when he likes to press alt, and he said if enemies bunch up in a group of three or more people, he's throwing it right away. If they make the mistake of standing nearby, then they can't effectively split up and stop your ultimate from bouncing around and slowing everyone. This deals a lot of damage, especially if you can get some passive explosions as well. But worst case, it forces the enemies to run away from each other, giving your team a chance to capitalize and kill one of them. If he's being dived, that can be a good thing, with the ult bouncing back and forth repeatedly between them, slowing for 45% and dealing max HP damage as well. So even bruisers are going to struggle to 1v1 you, which is quite rare for a mid laner. If he does end up finding the enemy backline, he can ult and force them to abandon each other. Supports can't stay with their AD carry or they'll kill them. So peel and shielding supports have to stop doing their job, and AD carries have to stop DPSing and walk back. It buys time, which high elo players can use well. According to our player, the most important thing you can get out of playing Brand is learning how to be useful even when behind. Brand functions pretty well on just one item, and his scaling is quite linear, so he never requires more farm before a fight to get an item. He's always ready. That being said, Brand does scale really well into the late game. Once you get 5 or 6 items, if you hit an enemy with W and Q, that will nearly kill them. Hit any squishy with 3 abilities and they'll be popped by the explosion. Also melting Baron, as Brand's 3 hit passive explosion has no cap on the damage it does to objectives, so he can repeatedly do a thousand damage per explosion. To give it a rating, Brand mid itself is quite good right now thanks to Force of Nature being nerfed a lot, as well as his strong laning, and countering quite a few meta champions such as LeBlanc. But I think this pick really shows that no matter your age, or what you want to play, if you practice and get good at it, and stay consistent, anything is possible in League. So although this pick is not free LP, I think that's kind of a good thing. It takes us back to the days where you had to be really good to win games, not just pick the newest champion. For his full build, he starts Doran's Ring most games, but Corrupting is good against poke laners, and it's great on brand as it gives you extra damage for 12 seconds, as well as more damage over time. Early base, making sure he gets a Ruby Crystal, into Ryolai's first, Sorcerer Shoes for more Magic Pen, Leandries for more damage over time, then Oblivion Orb for the Synergy, buying situational AP after that. Every game he bans Zed. It's a strange ban, but Zed's just really good at dodging your abilities thanks to his shadows, and he can easily kill you. He takes Flash Teleport every game. Teleport's great for the mid lane pressure and coming back to lane fast. And as we've seen, Brand's still pretty good in a side lane, able to take 1v1s. Titan Dweevil has no social media, however he did ask me to pass on a message. Simply that he'd love it if people supported their native bees and butterflies, as they're vital to all of our lives and need protection. So on his behalf, I sent a donation to a bee charity, helping keep them alive in urban areas. And thanks again to Reed for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use my Raid Shadow Legends link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane new bonuses for new players with an epic champion. Thanks so much for watching.